Oh, wait, hold on. We need to go back a little bit. No, back, 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 back. I back. liked being so front. All right, and then let's um check the connection up here. What do you mean you like being so front? I need to whiten my teeth. I whitened my teeth down. Last night they were getting... Dr. Kirk? No. Last night with Dr. <laughs> Last night with Dr. Kirk, I went to no. <laughs> Did anybody Joe, catch that? Joe probably <laughs> caught it. <laughs> wow, wow. No, we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Hi, Cher. Hi, Joe. We're Hi, waiting. Cher. Hi, Hi Joe. who's that? Irie me. Irie ma. Irie. 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 Okay. We're Lenique. talking about whitening teeth. It's 1.30. There's jammy, jammy jams. Jammy jams. Just like, what was the other name we kept reading wrong? It was Jamie Jam. It was Jamie Jams? Yeah. What was about the sushi one? It had nothing oh, to do with yeah, sushi. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky, where we take your mind off of what's going on outside the closet and bring you in here for a full hour of fun, frolic, and foolishness. So. Oh, wow. Oh, you have a No, I don't. I actually phone? don't. I was just going to... You go ahead. Okay. Uh-huh. So... Right? Well, somebody's asking about Mother's Day. Can't hear? What do you mean you can't hear? Turn up your volume. Jody, you need to add Lani Lady to your bio. Very true. Everybody can hear? Everybody can oh, hear? Turn it down in the house. Oh, 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 spicy tuna. Spicy tuna. Spicy tuna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, yeah, we're talking about Mother's Day. And I don't know if you guys caught the post that I put on my story today mm -hmm. about, like, you know how to feel as a woman and you know it was one of my friends that oh, they can't hear why hearing 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 hearing, hearing. hearing. somebody okay. said they're not hearing we Ollie. can hear only perfectly oh okay all right well i'm not okay. gonna trouble it okay okay so yeah so i was um so i put some posts on my instagram today because you know somebody sent me these somebody sent me the the link to these posts my friend my good friend and um, I read it and I was like, this is so true. Like, why as women do we feel that we have to do everything? We have to be a great partner, a good mother. We have to be working hard in an amazing job that brings home like so much money. And if we're not doing all of those things, like we feel less of like a woman or mm -hmm. less complete. Like, I know that that's surely happened to me mm -hmm. after not working um, for Oh, I don't know. I haven't been, I've been out of work for a little while now. Bonjour. But I know I feel a little bit guilty about mm -hmm. not working. And, you know, when I'm not with, with Stevie, I feel guilty about leaving her with the nanny. Like, it's, it's like a constant guilt that you have as a mother. Like, just yesterday, one of the reasons why my friend sent this to me, I said to my friend, I was like, you know, I just want to make sure that the spark between Scott and I is still there. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, I don't want... To, it to not be there like how do you make sure that the spark between you and your husband is still there my friend was like Trey calm down like Scott loves you like everything is okay mm -hmm. he still smiles when he sees you and I was like damn like why am I stressing about everything women are just whether it's a mother or just a woman in general right we are expected to wear so many different hats and we are expected to wear all of those hats well you know, to be and at the same time, and at the same time, and under the scrutiny of social media, because if you do something and it's not perfect, if you look all, all pop down, if you if you do something and it's not perfect, or you say something, it's like, oh my god, cancel her. She not look good. She old. Man, no horror was but lover. She frozy like, and it's just so unfair. And I think as women, we, we need put to on pressure. Together. Yes, we definitely do put pressure on others. And you know what I find so funny is that. Sometimes we'll sit here and we'll talk about these things. So let me talk about myself because I don't want to blame anybody else. So I'll sit here and I'll be like giving these positive speeches and, you know, women empowerment. And we need to be there for each other. And then I'll turn around and I'm looking at a post and I'll be like, Lord God, oh, she stays so. You know, and I think that it's something that we need to take on and be more conscious of. I post that you look at and say that. Girl, because sometimes you want to fix up. I'm just joking. Just because I'm I just joking. I'm just I joking. watch Tracy. once a month, okay? I think you need to step it up. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we need to... It's almost like you, you have to live what you say. You know what I mean? And you mm -hmm. can't just be like, yes, I'm positive, Patrina. No, you can't just say it. Leave it. You, you can't just say it. You, you have to... I'm not supposed to drink anymore? No, I thought... I knew you were going to say something about Patrina. Oh, oh, so oh. Just leave I was... It. Just I leave was, it. Uh -huh. So I think that, you know, as well as saying these things, you, you have to feel it, you have to mean it, you know? Yeah. And I think that in my life, I have definitely been 
making an effort and trying to when I say these things to put them into action and to really be that positive person that I say I want to be wow also I think when it is when you have such an amazing example as you both did because Nandi is the best you feel like you need to do the same or better but no one is the same do you thank you Ali appreciate Ali, let me tell you something my mom gave us this book Jody this read hers to Remy last night by the way this is so bomb it's gone down so easy Tracy <laughs> oh my gosh okay today we're late we make salad too easy Davina Bennett is here so let's give a sip to Davina we just love Davina Cheers, Davina <laughs> okay so today I am drinking the grilled grapefruit passion and you are drinking the grilled chili, chili melon cucumber, cucumber. No, the fruits are grilled and then added into some goodness magic of um, Lady Bee Mixology. And it's nice and cold, so after I am, um, what do you call it, whitening my teeth last night? <laughs> you missed that joke if you didn't catch it. Mm. If you didn't catch it, you can go to YouTube to find out who, who, who was whitening <laughs> Jody's teeth um, last night. My friend was recently chastised for being a mother of two and still wearing her distressed battery rider shorts recently. No, 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 no. Battery riders to the world. So... If that is a young mother must wear a, a frock with three church hats. No, 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 no. No, okay. So first of all, I want to see if you are a mother of any age and you have children, time and place for all outfits, number one. I don't think a distressed batty showing outfit to pick your children up from, from school is okay. But is distressed batty, pick, batty shorts okay? Absolutely. You're not dead. You're not dead. Well, also, to, okay. So there will be times where I will feel cute wearing certain outfits to pick up my kids from school. Um, but free the cheeks. I'm all about the distress yeah, matter no, shot. So sorry. And, and you know, it's just, I think you're thinking of like a ridiculous I was thinking shot. of the, like, the, the pants that you wore to um, Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think anybody would ever wear that to pick up their children from school. Right, exactly. But exactly. It, that's but time and place. Yeah, so I don't feel there's anything wrong in wearing whatever you want to wear, but time and place for everything under the sun. And you know what? Nobody and my segment, this matter yeah. rider segment, yeah. yeah. Talk up straight up, perky bottom. And loves her battery rider so much that that is already wears. That is correct. That, that is, is correct. correct. The school has actually said to me, "Can you please retire these? Your child could not run properly on the playground." <laughs> <laughs> um, I believe it's all society is doing. When I took in Max after um, four months, I went to a bar and a man comes and sits down beside me and says, "Careless mother." What are you doing in a bar and your poor child is God knows where? No, so hold on. I was I was at um a beach the, the this weekend gone and so I went to the bar to go and wait for Scott. He was coming up, he was coming up and I went to go to wait for him. So I was with Stevie. So I put her on the table on the bar and music was playing. So I was dancing with her on the table and I was going and a man walked up to me and goes do you think that's what you should be teaching your child from this early? And I looked at him and I said to him, Are you well, missing? No. I said, I looked at him and I said to him, Well, if she's going to be at a bar, she better be fun. So yeah, I'm teaching her to dance on the bar top. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'd have been a little bit more dirty. I'd have been like, you must have been a rass. Be a father, come tell me what I must do with my child. He was a but tourist, anyways, so he didn't know. It, but anyway, so I want to go on. I just don't else. think that other people, not even your family, I don't think that other people should be chastising with the way that you what you're doing with your kids what you're wearing like i just find that you're putting so much energy into the wrong things if i want to have my child you're at a beach bar like i don't understand I it's not like let's 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 get I into something i can't nice. i can't I... jody you're getting hungry now so today can we talk about jesse williams though who's jesse williams Okay, I didn't see the picture. Beggy, somebody sent it to me after the show. So, Jesse Williams is um, brown skin, pretty eyes, and I believe he recently got a divorce. Look up Jesse Williams. But can we talk and eat? Because I'm Yes, hungry. we can talk. We can definitely talk and okay, eat. Okay, well, I Jesse just want Williams. to introduce okay. the food first. It's on Twitter. Twitter have all of the nice pictures. Okay, so today we have food from... We just get their Instagram post right. He was on Grey's Anatomy. What? Jesse Williams was on Grey's Anatomy. So today we have food from Tawa J A T A W A H J A. Tawa J A is a Trinidadian <laughs> restaurant that is based here in Jamaica. Okay, they bring the taste of Trinidad to the eight seven six. So today we have food from. You, them. you didn't do that right. Sorry. T-A-W-A-H, Tawa, 
All right, so Tawa J.A. is bringing the taste of Trinidad to Jamaica. You can get like stuff things. You know, we have Trinidad. We eight, six, six, eight. No, six, six, eight. You know, the, oh, the, the lady be lick up in your head so far. Oh, God, man. Oh, God. So, anyway, let's just see what Tawa has brought us today. All right. So, we've been to Trinidad, so we know what's going on. Did you just beat up the brown paper I bag? I sure did. It was getting in the way. Not me oh, gosh, man. Like, oh, gosh, mm. Show the containers. Okay. First, okay. we're doing some some barra. We got some barra. I don't know. I don't pass my, pass my Instagram. Pass I can phone. tell you what it is now. Nah? This is the barra. So, we're going to make our own doubles apparently. So, God, it's going to be a mess here. So, so they these are the, doubles the chick with tamarind, cucumber, chutney, and pepper. We got the chutney. We also got curry, chicken, and mutton. We got the butter, pepper, shot, roti, pumpkin, talcari. Chana and aloo, chickpeas and potato. <gasps> oh. right, so we're gonna be making our own double. So you, we're gonna see a spoon. Oh my god! I <laughs> why did I just like a crazy person? <laughs> oh my god! And she's digging out the, the container. But I can't. I look at myself in here. I can't. Look at. I can't, I can't even. Oh my I god! Should. All right, guys. So we are. Oh, Tawa J. It smells really good. Trini Mama Sita is saying that my accent's real good. But oh god, you just opening the packages and- ah! <laughs> It's butter shot! It's Jesse Wales in the bag! <laughs> butter shot, Joe, hold up that! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! If you start to cry, they're gonna know oh. you're pregnant, okay? Okay, well, okay, I'm not pregnant. Everybody stop asking that, I'm not pregnant. Okay, 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 okay. Don't okay, drink okay. once and that's it. I don't. Okay, okay, open up the, open up the, open up the, open up that, open up that. Open up that. Open it. Open it. Okay. All right. Shh, Open it. Shoot. Why is this taking so long? Oh my gosh. Everything. I'm just push up the cellophane on it. Everything's so tight in here. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. We're, we're opening because I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want. I wish Nana was here to help us. Because this oh is, my. All right. This okay. is going to get messy. So we have... This looks like a goat over here. Oh my gosh. This smells really good. Okay. All right. So that's Tawa. Is Tawa here? Let me Whoa. pee you. Jo, I, jo, I can't check my DMs because my phone is actually running the, the live. Sean took away the second phone because he said I was checking his messages too much. You can send to me, Joe. Oh, God, who opened pepper? Tracy, I swear to God, do not put Trini pepper on. No, sir. Jeez, I'm of his mind. This is called Batty Burner, okay? Going down, it burn you. When it coming out, it's like a fire starter, okay? So just be Jeez, careful. Jeez, um, no, I just touched it and then licked my fingers. No, my nose is down on it. Yeah. I can't manage Trini pepper. I can't Please close that up. Yeah, mm -hmm. close it up. Close it up. No. Okay, okay, okay. I gave you a fork right there. Oh, sorry, sorry. All right. So, not... okay. so the first thing I is going to do, I is going to grab like a piece of the bus up shot. So what is bus up shot is like the roti, but it's like the roti fold up on itself. So it's like it's tired roti. See now? It in there is like the tired roti. So we're going to take... I'm gonna take a piece of the tired roti, the bus up shot, and it's very, very flaky now. See that? Very flaky. It's more flaky than a regular roti or. Okay, so I don't care what you're saying. I am going for. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for blessing us with the hands of the master, Trini Chef, who flavored all the Trini food to pass down in generations so that we, Lord, in 2022, could taste the goodness of Trini cooking. God bless airplanes that brought the Trini man to Jamaica and that made this food for us. Let it be good. Amen. Oh, Nourish Lord. to our bodies and let us make it skinny, skinny. and strong. Okay. Amen. So I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a piece of the bar and a piece of the goat. I am taking. Where you have any? Oh no, you have any mango? You can't have. You can't have the roti and no mango, girl. What's wrong with you now? I can't wait. All right, I'm taking the goat and the. Mm -mm. Okay, so I did. This is my. You get to make your own doubles. So I put my little doubles chickpea in there. I put the cucumber cilantro slaw in there, and then this is. Also, I guess this is a, what a tamarind mm. sauce that we're supposed to put on top of it oh my too. God. Uh, okay. This is a tamarind sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna put some tamarind sauce on that. Okay. Go to this excellent. Okay. This hits the spot. Oh if you are truly living in Jamaica, this is yeah. Oh wow. I'm gonna make my own doubles now. Mm -mm. How are you doing? It's not good. Don't have any. 
<laughs> no, the hard This is so good. No, oh, it's eating the spot because we didn't get to go to carnival this year either. Usually when we go to Trinity Carnival, we bring home like four dozen doubles. Mm -hmm. I just have put it on my sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. You have to stand and eat your doubles. Because mm -hmm. if it drop, it drop on the ground and it don't drop on your clothes. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. That is a nice, tasty bar. The chickpeas nice and seasoned now. Guys. Mm. I can't. I can't with this anymore. Mm. I have to just eat it all. This is oh. really good. Mm -hmm. I have to stand and eat my doubles. You can't eat doubles mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. A real trainee, they stand and they eat their doubles and mm -hmm. they don't get their fingernails messy and they don't smell on their dress. No, man. This is a different type of thing. Mm. Mm. I never smell on their dress. <laughs> wow. This is so good. I could be on the street in Shagaramas right now. Mm -hmm. Let's close your eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm eating in the cupboard though. Mm -hmm. Let me try this jerk. This let me jerk. This this curry chick. What's this again? Goat. Curry goat is one of my favorite dishes. Mhm. Mm yeah. Mmm. 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 Yeah. This is good. Let me get some bus up shot. So guys, I don't think we're gonna continue this show because I'm gonna go and get a plate. Mhm. Mm this is excellent. Finish eating this. I started to sweat. <laughs> And I'm gonna I'm gonna lie down after. Sorry guys, the show done. Bye. <laughs> mm. So I just wrapped up my goat in a little bus up shop. Mm. It in a sauce. Mm. 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 Bring that top people talk over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so we have double, we have bus up shop. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is some pumpkin thing. Mm -hmm. That goes on. The, that is um. Mm-mm. No man. Mm -mm. Alu. What do you call it? No, not alu. No man, why do you have to do this so good? You put that in the doubles. Jesus, you put it anywhere you want to put it, all on top of your head. Jesus, it tastes so good. This is so good. So this goes mm -mm. on top of your head. <laughs> mm -mm. Lord man, the show done. Bye guys. <laughs> have to go eat. I've never felt this way before. Pumpkin salkari. Yes. Pumpkin salkari. Mm -mm. Boyaka, boyaka. Boyaka, and boyaka. Has, yeah, and here's the, um, what is this? Alu? No, this is more um chickpeas. So this is more. And there's potato. No, there's so. potato. So that is the alu. So that's the chickpeas. With, so you also She said there's a description, you know, but we don't need to describe nothing unless it tastes good. Here, pumpkin salkari. Um, not the doubles. Somebody's drinking their green juice. Yeah. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. Was there something else you wanted to talk about on this show? You, you, you do mm. the talking. I'm just gonna wash it down a little with my Lady B mixology. Rasta judge. Mm. No man. So guys, um, this is really good. What are you talking to me about, that it guy? It all goes with the goats. I think you can put like the. The pumpkin, yeah, oh yes, because you can put it in the, um, those are toppings, so you can put it in the doubles or you can put it in the goat. Boyaka, boyaka. You bust up shot? No, man, this Chris, girl. came here hungry today, man. No, I did not. I actually ate before I came because I was like, yo, I was so hungry at home. And then I was like, I'm not going to eat when right. I get there. But then guess what? I can't stop me because this tastes so divine. This is so good. All right. So, what did you want to talk to me about, Jesse? again? You were saying something. All right, so Jody has now blessed us with, um... Hold on, I need to go into the other No Instagram. man, Tower is the bomb. Tower is the other w -A -H -J -A. You guys, log on. Uh huh. How do you go into the. Jody has sent the picture. How would I get into your. Into your. um Into your. Thing. Mm hmm. Get it. Go into your Instagram. Mm hmm. So. Pin the comment. Hold on. Mm hmm. Oops, oh, sorry. Here we go. We are going mm. to pin Tower J A. Whoa! Let me see, let me see. No man! What the heck? What is it? Wow! What's happening in that picture? I'm not sure. What is he doing? Um, okay. So Jesse Williams, actor from um 
Grey's Anatomy. You know, mad the girls them with him low cut hair and him brown skin and the nice little pretty pretty gold, not gold, grey green eyes. Mm -hmm. So I saw things happening yesterday on Twitter and I didn't go check it out. Joe was so kind as to send the photograph and um. That was kind. Yes. Mm. So I don't know how the man walks straight because he have a pendulum on the him. Dude, that was scary. But he's standing up there like he's doing a performance. We we what what was happening? A Broadway play. Broadway. Hey, that was Broadway? Broadway? That was Broadway? Broader than Broadway. Mm -hmm. So I guess, I, I mean, you know, when you have it flaunted, I guess he was doing like an adult play. I'm going to New York soon, so I'm definitely going to check that out. <laughs> 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 but I didn't know you'd be allowed to do that. So you're saying Broadway, so I assume that it's um, New York. He's in a play, but he's, he's completely nude. I didn't think you could do... That would be public nudity. But it's 2022, right? So you can do whatever you want nowadays. Well, I guess they would you sell can tickets even to 18 and over. Um, but how is that legal? I mean, Jody, when you go into school, you do universities right no, no, now. No, no, no. But in the States, so they have so many rules and regulations for strip clubs and exotic bars, etc. That's why you don't see a lot of them when you're in Miami or you don't see a lot of them when you're in New York. Mm -hmm. So how is he able to fully strip down and be on stage in a Broadway play nude? Because mm -hmm. then if he can do that, why can't there be more strip clubs? You know what I mean? That's not mm -hmm. fair. That's not fair. We, we would like a little titty bar, you know? Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to have your phone. Like, oh, yeah, but when some, even though you're not supposed to have your phone, you're still breaking the law. Mm -hmm. Um, how is, somebody's, I how, is, how is somebody's body the law though? Because it's public nudity, right? So if if I cannot get a um a, a a a permit to have a strip club or an exotic club, right? How is it then that Broadway can have a play with mm -hmm. a nude person? Because that is going to draw in a crowd. Mm -hmm. So then why can't I have a bar that draws in a crowd and I have nude girls? That's not fair. Mm. Um, yes, there are certain plays that require nude. Where is Stevie Marie? Um, there's no law around art. I get that it's art. Um, but then um, <clears throat> why can't... They, I, I don't know. Like I, I, I think then it should be a broad spectrum. And then let me open my nude bar. Right? If you're going to have people on stage doing Broadway naked. Mm -hmm. why, why are there different? One is art and one is like a TV bar. That's not fair. Mm -hmm. um, be art too. It's like watching a nude scene. It's, um, it's just live. Mm. I don't know. I just say free, free up the nude, nudity on a whole. You know what I mean? Like if it's in a Broadway play, then it should be allowed in a bar. And it's a double standard. I agree. Mm -hmm. um, it was definitely art. Hall yes, man. That's art there. Whew. That was definitely art. And I'm not complaining that Jesse did that. If that's part of the play and he took on that role, I'm sure he did an amazing job. He looked amazing. But then, but then if you want to open a bar or a pub that offers, you know, new dancing or um, what you call it, um, yeah, new dancing, then I should be allowed to do that and not be restricted because I'm not a Broadway play. Strip clubs are illegal in the States. So in some states, you are not allowed to take off your underwear. Um, so I, from what I've heard, so for some states you have to leave on your underwear, um, some states, like different laws, um, mm -hmm. require different things, um, different age groups, some, I, I was in one once where there was no liquor allowed, it was weird, it was weird. So different laws, Vegas is a free for all, you get everything where you want, but in some places, you're not allowed to take off your underwear, you have to leave on some percentage of clothes or whatever. This pumpkin thing is it's so bomb. good. I just keep. Alright, let me try some. Oh no, yeah. some more doubles. Mm -hmm. No discrimination, he's fine. Mm -hmm. But, you know, sometimes that can be awkward. I wonder if you know that he's gonna be new in, nude in the play. Mm. Somebody said in New Jersey they're all nude but they don't serve. Liquor, but anywhere that serves liquor, they have to leave on them panty. <laughs> oh, mm. 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 Hey, come on, man, just serve the rum and done and be naked. We want to see buttholes and rum. Oh, well, not the butthole. I need, a, I need a nap. You need a nap? This was really good. Tower 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. This is very good. And we were back to the at first because you come late, but it's all right. It's all right. You made up for it. You made up for it. Tower J8, that was... I'm not opening that pepper sauce. Let's give that to Sean. 
Since him love pepper. Yeah, I know that was Jeez. really that was really something. You must know the pepper hot from you open the container and you can just smell it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I manage the pepper? Wow, 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 wow. Alright guys, so you can check them out. Tower J A. They will be linked in the description bar. And um you have a list of everything that we have here? Yeah. Because I'll put I that do. in the description box over on YouTube. And guys, thank you so much for all the views on my apartment renovation video. It's doing really, really well. Um, and I wish that I had enough money to buy another apartment and renovate it because not only was it really fun, but I got a lot of views. You know what Stevie does now? What? After she eats, she, she fake burps. She goes, eh. Really? Who taught her that? I don't know. <laughs> and she thinks that farts are funny. Like when she poops, she, she poops it and she goes, ha ha, ha ha. <laughs> Wow, I think our cousins might have taught her that. <laughs> Every time she she said, eh. <laughs> She's so cute. I hope you think your own child is cute. For sure. I know, I know, my own child is Because the video is so good. My editor did an amazing job too. I think there were so many different contributing factors to make that video good. But thank you all so much for the, um, for the views and the comments. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All the new subscribers. Yo, pack this up, my girl. This is I so good. I have no, I, I feel like mm. this whole show, all I've been doing is going, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my mouth has been food. Mm. 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 Um, and thank you to everyone who bought a gift to Stevie. They're downstairs. So I go to mail pack today, right? And they send me e my email, pong, 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 pong. So I'm like, whoa, who is emailing me like this? What's this money? Cash app going off. And, um, only Give plan. me a second amount. You mm -hmm. can have ca you, Tracy. I could be cash app things mm -hmm. for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you, thank you. People are saying proud of my accomplishment. So, get to my apartment. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm here. So I'm like, I check my email and it's oh, package to collect at counter. Package to collect at counter. Twenty five packages to collect at the counter. If anybody can guess the amount of packages that were for me, you will get yourself today a gift certificate to Candy Craze. So what is the gift certificate for? How much is the amount? $1,000. Now, $1,000 gift certificate to Candy Craze. If you can guess how many packages out of the 25 were for me, the account holder at MailPack. Yeah, but I mean, like, do you, I mean, are you going to be mad at Sweetie Sweetie? Like, she needs her clothes. I got all excited. She needs her bath time things. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yes. Ras Tanisha, three. <laughs> T-A-N-N-E. -N -N By the way, I'm packing up the food. You still see me eating now? I'm packing it up now. I can't, I, I'm stuffed myself. I don't right. know. Ras Tanisha, I'll get in touch with you and get you your gift card to Candy Craze for $1,000. You can check them out. They have pre-packaged candy. They have package, um, sorry, they have candy on the wall. Or you can dispense whatever you'd like. Um, they also have ice cream. Oh. This is so good. Pass a piece. No, I want a piece of. Go for a pack up. Hold on. Um, candy on the wall. And today they sent us. Okay, home. Mm. This is really I good. I know. It's terrible. It's so good. Mm. No, no, no. It's terribly good. <laughs> it's it's this terribly is good. No, it's terrible because I can't stop eating. It's so good. It's so good. This is really good. It is really good. Tawa, Jamaica, you have outdone yourself. Mm -hmm. So, lucky for us, we have something to wash it down with. From Nettie's farm, mm. we have mm. some kombucha. Um, I'm always down for a drink. Yeah. So kombucha it. Oh wow. Wow. What is kombucha? Whoa, whoa, careful. Kombucha. You all right? <laughs> kombucha? kombucha. Kombucha is a probiotic. It's a sparkling fermented tea. So it's right there on the bottle. So. And it has probiotics in there. Lemongrass, mint and honey is this flavor here. And you're not to shake them. You're just supposed to tip them up and down. Oh. What? Somebody says, so Tracy doesn't own her own mail pack account? No, because it can't, when she sends them to me, it comes with a driver. <laughs> somebody who opens them, throws away all the cardboard boxes, <laughs> Pre-packages them all together and delivers them to her house. Why the hell wouldn't she have her own? Why would she have her own mail pack account? Like really? She's smart. Oh, and her bill is paid. I pick them up. I open them. I sort them. I put them together, and then. Who asked that question? Why are you allowed 
upset. Now you're making her get upset with me. Ras Tanisha, she says, I don't live in Jamaica either. Okay, so Ras Tanisha, do you want to give up your gift certificate to someone else? All right. So what? How did? How did we? How do we shake this up? You just do it up, like not shake it, but just do it like that. Uh huh. And then back and over. And then back over. Okay. Not too many times, but do it a couple times. So okay. the delivery man does no because every time I try to be like, oh Trey, you know, you have a little bill. She's like, you're really going to charge, sweetie, sweetie, for all of her things. Oh gosh, she needs this to live. She does. She needs it to live. And nice things. Levi and Remy got nice things. Sweetie, sweetie needs nice things too. Rastani just says I can give it away, Rastani. All right, so let's give it away right after this. Let's taste this kombucha. Okay, so I'm going to drink the cherry lime aid kombucha by Nettie's Farm. We also got passion fruit ginger and honey kombucha. We've, we've heard of Nettie's Farm before. We've eh? had them on the show before. Ah, okay. Nettie's Farm kombucha. And they also have another flavor, which is blueberry ginger. But... You have to be careful. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm careful. Okay. Oops. So this is cherry lime aid. I'm going to wait. I haven't opened mine yet. All right, I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. See, so you want to turn it over and just let some of the sediments sprinkle down like oh, this, wait. like Levi's lava lamp. Oh wow! Lemongrass, mint, and honey. That's good. Yes. Okay, I'm still stirring mine. So you don't want to shake it up too much because remember it's a fermented beverage. So it will pop up. So it will pop up, mm. right? So you kind of want to. How does it taste for the wash? It tastes though? really good, especially like I still have some doubles stuck in my tea. Oh god, it's so just, good. It's, yeah. Oh my god, I don't want my doubles to get unstuck. I need to open this fast so I can. There's a scissors in that drawer. No, 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 don't use it, tea. Mm. Hmm. I got to. I got to. Why am I so wound up today, though? No, you you are having issues. I mm. know. Okay, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, he's a goat. Oh, my mm. gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Whoa. This flavor is really so. They have different flavors. So where can you? So it's Nettie's Farm. Let's check out the logo. Let's check. So you out can the check logo. them out on Nettie's Farm on Instagram. N e t t y s Farm. Um, I do believe that they were also sold in the Life Store. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, that's such a good idea. Um, somebody says they love um, kombucha and it's a healthy option to a healthy alternative to soda. <sighs> Nettie's Farm Jamaica makes small batch this brew kom is kombucha. A Each batch of tea is fermented, fermented to create a lightly tart, refreshing beverage. Mm -hmm. Locally sourced fruits and herbs are infused to yeah. flavor and carbonate. Fruit pulp and yeast will float around or settle at the bottom of the bottle. Yes. Expect tingles as your body experiences the probiotics and that. antioxidants. The flavor will evolve and become more like a natural wine the longer it sits. Oh! I'm feeling this. This is really refreshing. Like a super summer refresher. This, I'm surprised I like this Can flavor. I have this? Yeah. I want to taste this one. G lemongrass, mint, and honey. Where is, somebody's asking, where is the website? Wow. The website is? It's um, Nettie's Farm on Instagram, and it's Nettie's Farm Jamaica on Facebook. And where can we get these three? Well, right now you can check Nettie's Farm to see where they are located, because they are doing, they're just starting to do different distributions um, everywhere. But I do believe that they were available at the live store. Yeah, we saw them at the live store. Um, so that's the live store on Constant Spring Road that we, we were talking about earlier on this year. You can find Nettie's Farm Kombucha and it is a probiotic. Oh, somebody says it will help with bloating. So I don't know. Yeah. It, it, I don't know if you, if you remember, we did a whole show about. You keep burping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we did a show about probiotics and why they were good. Oh, at Christmas right. time they do one with sorrel. Yeah. Yeah. And probiotics are good for a number of reasons, especially for your gut health. So if you're somebody who suffers from um, anything to do with digestive your gut, issues, digestion Lo issues, Shusan has them. Lo Shusan has them. Okay. Um, these are very, very good. And they're light and refreshing. Refreshing. They're very refreshing. Very refreshing. You know, I've had kombucha before and it wasn't like I, I really, wasn't really looking forward to this segment. But she makes her so light and effervescent and refreshing. Mm -hmm. Like usually I find kombucha is a bit tart and it's like, I'm drinking something. You yeah, know, yeah, this yeah. is more like, I'm having a light, refreshing beverage. Yeah. This is really nice. 
Nana would like this. Yes. I'm going to save these for Nana. The passion fruit and ginger. Oh, she would love the passion fruit and ginger. I think she would like the blueberry ginger more because you know Nana loves a ginger. Yeah? Nana loves she, ginger. She does love ginger. Oh, I just but this has ginger too. Passion fruit and ginger. Blueberry and ginger. I just found ginger. this piece of doubles on the counter. Okay, very good. <laughs> I'm going to eat it because... Um, who do you love? Are you for sure? Says I drink kombucha every day. Why did I think kombucha had liquor in you it? You do. No yes, sugar, from... probiotics drink. No need for sodas. Mm hmm. Maybe you should get this for your kids, Joe, because they love a soda. No, they like the fact that they can sneak soda every once in a while because they are not allowed soda. Mm. So I don't allow them to drink soda, but every now and then they'll go to Wendy's and they will have a little bit of soda and feel like, ah, you know, breaking the rules. But we don't drink soda in my house. We drink a lot of orange juice and water. So I don't, I wouldn't introduce a, another drink, but I'm sure mm -hmm. this would actually be way better for them than the stupid pop that yeah. they get up. Okay. Yeah, this is very nice. Okay. So I wanted to talk to everybody about something. So I recently went and got some baby oil gel and that's what I've been lotioning up my body with just today. Yeah, but I find that every piece of dust particle that blows by is gonna stick to you. Is that true? Yes, the baby oil gel is so thick. Like any little piece of anything, you probably have corona sit down by your skin. And it's hard to wash off, girl. Well, I just didn't have time to go and get my favorite lotion by Live Simple. Oh yes, there. You know yes, that yes, you yes. Always yes. tell me why you smell like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love how I smell. It's way too thick. I agree. What? Baby oil gel is too thick. I know, but I it's just probably yeah. But the thing is that it's probably like clogging your pores. Sure, it makes it look nice and shiny if you want to be like a trophy. But like it's too thick, it's gonna clog your pores and it's not giving you any moisture. I don't even know why they made that. What the hell did they make that for? I don't know. Was it like people in like what you call a bodybuilding competition? Just like I grease get up so yourself? Many bites on me. Oh my gosh, but look at this bruise on my leg. How did you get that? Dude, I don't know. It's literally like so big. Where are you going? I want to show everybody the bruise on my leg. Can you see it? Yes, we can see it. Right there crazy it's like it's plaster crazy. It's, 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 I, I don't think anybody needs to be using that on their skin anyway so, so today I, I sent off um my passport did you just fart you just farted you went bah, bah. i did not it was my oh okay you remember that time i farted yes and you tried to cover it up <laughs> you're lucky you were pregnant everybody forgave you and then we're going to uh, uh, you are putting on lipstick too. It's like your mouth open and your body open too. You're like, Pap! and this is a nice oh, color we're gonna use. Thank you, thank you. Somebody says they love my earrings. I got these. Um, at, I go shopping there very, very often. Um, I got them at a place I like to call Jody's Closet. They were very cheap. <laughs> 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 Yo, Tracy's the worst. Tracy's honestly the, the worst. The markdown prices in Jody's closet are amazing. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture of what Tracy's car looks like with all of the packages after I packed it up today. I'm going to take a picture of all of the clothes I've actually bought myself, which is zero. Usually I just wait for Jody to do one of her hauls off of like one of her websites and then she's like, I don't know why I bought this, it's not my style. This can't fit me. And I'm like, yeah, like this pants, Jody bought. This bra, Jody bought. <laughs> <laughs> These earrings, Jody bought. <laughs> well, let me check my pants in. No, I got this one. No, you got your say yeah. Oh, and that's I had, nice. I got that's this nice. shirt myself. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Everything Jody bought for me. Oh, I just, boy. I mean, but like, who doesn't love hand free things? I know, and I know. Free things. I mean, it's I'm true. not even, I'm not even mad. I remember one, is really nice. It's so good. Mm -hmm. I remember one time at Dinner and Blanc, Novia interviewed me. And she was like, where did you get that skirt, darling? And I was like, Jody's, Jody's closet. closet. <laughs> But you styled it so differently. That's what I kind of like. I love, you know, you see like a regular piece. So these shorts that she has on, they kind of have like a leatherette feel. They're bicycle shorts. Now, I bought these for the gym. So I styled it with a gym bra and a top. Tracy has come here today and she's more styled it as a casual look, as a bicycle shorts with, you know, uh, uh, what you call, what, what is, what is man named? Leopard, cheetah, tiger, 
um, loose shirt. And it's just really... And I've done it with my... Yeah, these, fuzzy, shoes, these shoes are fuzzy killing slippers. me. Shoes are killing me. They're killing me. <laughs> killing me. I remember when they came in from mail pack, I was like, what are you wearing this for? Like, okay, all right. You know, it's just so cool. I saw daddy like, this morning and he said, hey, little, your hair is getting long again. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Oh, you noticed? Yeah. <laughs> daddy always notices my hair. Yeah? Yeah, he's so cute. No, he's very cute. He's losing weight, though. I, I noticed. I told him, he's like, oh, I don't know, you know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> daddy spent more time outside Mother's Day smoking cigarettes than he did inside. I know. We were like trying to cut the so there's no <laughs> smoking allowed in my house just because there's, there's no sm we don't have any smokers that live here. So daddy go, all right, cigarette smokers that live here. So daddy <laughs> goes under the mango tree. So, you know, Sean will be like, oh, I'm gonna go join your father. And all the guys are like outside smoking, whether it be cigarettes, etc. And all the ladies are like, oh, who wants cake? Let's serve up, blah, blah, blah. And we're like, oh, let's cut the cake. Where's everybody? Smoking. Everybody comes inside smelling like an ashtray. But, um, yeah. I know. <clears throat> we had a great Mother's Day, though, Joe. Thanks to oh. Sean for organizing that. Um, I organized it. I know, but I was just pretending it was Sean for a second. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks uh, to Sean for organizing mm -hmm. that. <laughs> Cher said, did you have two meats? Actually, we did. So, we have some vegetarians, some pescatarians, um, so, and then some hardcore meat eaters. Like Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought a really good idea would be to have a sushi chef come in and we could get like sushi, we could get some cooked things. So, we had... Um, uh, Bortabelli. Bortabelli. And we had um, uh, tuna tartare, then we had um, 90 different pieces of sushi. Then we had a pasta with chicken miso vegetable. Then we had stir fry veg. We Stevie had, loved, <coughs> loved the, the, the chicken miso pasta. Yeah, it was really good. Everything yeah. was really, really, really good. It was very tasty. Um, there we was a one salad, salad. Yes, spring rolls. So there was something for everybody, you know, mm -hmm. and I think that that's one of the hardest yes, things. No, who do you love? Are you for sure? No more bacon for the TV. <laughs> I was, you know what? And I'm, it's so funny. And I shared that story with, with you guys, uh, what happened to Stevie and the bacon. Why, what happened? She choked on it? She choked on it. Bacon was too crispy. It was too crispy. Remember she only has four teeth, you know? Yeah. So she, I guess she can't. So I, I don't know. Like, you know, but she liked the flavor, but like mm -hmm. she couldn't swap. So a piece just like went down her throat and I just look over at her and I just see her Rose pork mm -hmm. turning red. And I'm like, Stop. you hold her by one foot and you bang her like I she did just that. Marked. You did it? Yeah. That's not what you're supposed to do. Oh, well, the piece dropped out. Oh yeah. Well, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Hold <laughs> by one, the left foot, you shake her a little bit like a little suckling pig and you bang her. <laughs> and <laughs> you know what was so funny though? So right after the food came out of her mouth, okay, there was so much saliva everywhere. She She's probably hungry again. No, she starts laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so Scott was like, I think she's okay in this TV. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so much saliva. And on top of it, a Bob Marley song was playing. And I'm like, imagine this. You're choking on pork listening to Bob Marley. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. But no, sweetie, sweetie, it's okay. But, you know, I shared the story because, you know, sometimes as moms... Um, I just felt really confident in her eating abilities, you know, and I feel that maybe I was getting a little too confident and overzealous with her capabilities. No, but I think that you won't know what they can manage until you try them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I feel like every baby chokes. Levi, has, Levi choked on melon. I but remember. it was so scary because I didn't have it the is. plunger. Right. So remember before the plunger was made, mom's families would have to try and figure out how to make a baby stop choking or swallow or whatever it is before they had this plunger thing so what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to put a um, p-l-u-n-g-e-r i'm going to put a link in the description to the plunger that tracy keeps referencing so i have one handy near my kitchen and it looks like a like a um like a toilet plunger and you just stick it over the child's mouth and you pull um one part she and it will queen honey, honey skin says it happens, Tracy. Circle. Exactly. Yeah. So, but it is yeah. very scary in the moment yeah. when it, it happens. Is. But, it um, is. I was scared. Yeah. I was like, ah. Yeah. But you know what? I, I, I wanted to share with you guys because I don't want, um, I don't want anybody to give up on their eating journey with their kids. You know, as, as Honey Skin Queen says, I, it happens. So it goes, mm. you know, like, yeah. 
And then you don't want to be like, oh, I don't want to give them any solids right now because they can't manage. And then you don't know if they can manage. And then you're following this roster that was written so long ago of one month this, two months that, three months it, four months that. And then when your child is going over or under, you're kind of like, you know, oh, and all, um, all over the place. But let's, um, let's have some dessert. Okay. okay, this kombucha, really good. Yeah, Netflix definitely. Farm. I'm gonna have the kids try it and be like, hey, here's some soda. Well, I mean, it's hard to judge how much they can handle, which is true, but you can have to, you know, you have to test it out. Let's have, have some dessert. Out. Add a moderator to my live video. What does that mean? Oh. What does this mean? What's a moderator? I don't know. How do I add it? Okay. Dark chocolate and milk chocolate espresso beans are the dessert, and these are from Candy Crisp. These came from Candy Crisp today? Yeah. But one is open. Oh dear, we need to send it back. How come it came open? That's not safe at all. We should let them know that their packaging is not, is not proper. They came open. They came open. Oh, so we just added Jammy Jam as a moderator. Oh. She's managing the comments. Oh! oh. Jamie, mm. Jamie, you manage those comments. Make sure that she's not even it's Jamie Jams. I know, but yeah, we'll just give her Jamie Jams. I, th I like somebody Jamie. needs to monitor our our spelling. I like Jamie Jams better. She mm. sounds like she's in carnival, just like walking no. It she up. sounds like she like likes yeah yeah Jamie, Jamie Jams. Plus, <laughs> <laughs> plus, <laughs> Jamie Jams mm. and Eric Fett. Okay, mm. so wow, these are so good. So these are milk chocolate espresso beans, and Tracy's enjoying the dark chocolate espresso beans. The dark? The dark chocolate? The dark, the dark, the dark chocolate. chocolate. Mm. So this is like mm. such like a, a mature, sophisticated adult snack. It is, eh? Mm -hmm. Like but imagine like, you're at your desk in like your long sleeve button up with your gold pen. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> this is what you snack on. Like, if you have an office crush and you walk past him and he's like, yeah, I got the meeting of the minutes done and we have to check with um, JPS to make sure that they have the peripheral report. Did you check that for me, Marge? All right, get the report on my desk. <laughs> I'd, be like, I'd be like, oh my gosh, Marge. <laughs> you know? Well, I really like these. The dark chocolate ones, to me, I actually had some of the milk chocolates. I saw that Jody had opened it. <laughs> but the dark chocolate ones to me, I like dark chocolates a little bit mm -hmm. better. So for me, after um, having dinner, because you know, some people like coffee after dinner, and you know, I never yeah. served, served dessert. You know, you could just put like a little yeah, bowl with, with these those. Dogs. And it would taste good with wine too, actually. Everything tastes good with wine. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. So let's could... talk about this strike at National Water Commission. You know what I think is so First terrible. of all, I think everybody needs to kind of calm down. Because, so, like, people who are sending me the message, right? You have a water tank, right? So you're, 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 you're freaking out. When well, what are you going to do? Take the water out of your tank and put in a bucket? Calm down, first of all. Let everybody calm down. Second of all, right, I don't understand, like, there's certain jobs that you just don't mess with. You want your waters to stay on, your water to stay on, stay on, mm -hmm. stay on. You want your power to stay on. Like, mm -hmm. what is the government up to? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what does National Water Commission want? They want more money. Everybody wants more money. Yeah, but you don't know how much money they're getting. When they're the probably not getting much. Yeah, exactly. When is the last time NWC had a raise? Mm. And water is life. Water is life. That's their motto. Like it's like, you know, the basic... Not everyone has a... So, okay. Uh, I, Angel, Angel Johnson. Angel Johnson. Johnson. I don't have a tag. So... I, what I was saying what, what at I the beginning was the some of the people who were sending the messages to me absolutely freaking out. I know that they have a tank. So I find that for those people, for that instance, it was just a little bit too much. Like, calm down. This, this doesn't affect you like that. So shut up. Um, and then, you know, there are people who like Tracy who don't have tanks, so she could use a message. But it, it needs to get filtered out because all the messages are coming. But, you know, and it's, it's, just, it's too much, man. It's too mm -hmm. much. Over excitement for people that are like, let me collect some water. What are you going to collect it for? It's coming out of your tank. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. After the manager <coughs> just got an increase. Oh, wait, NWC? 
Somebody write this story, man. Managers. Oh, managers got an increase and then um, lower level workers didn't get anything. That's messed up. Hennessy and water strike. It's very hard to get Hennessy now, you know. That's why I drank all of it at um, the first party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did anyone get time to store water? Um, I did. You, you, you did? Uh huh. Okay. I made Stevie early this morning and I filled up her baby bag with baby bag with water. I have a I have a um a foldable water container too. I think it holds five gallons. I usually take it to Bird Bush. I can give that to you as well. You know what, um, Miss Rose. Miss Rose, the goodie that works at my house. Yeah. Miss mm -hmm. <laughs> Rose organized you. Mm -hmm. She organized me up. You think Miss Rose going to let me have no water? Magnum on shortage too. Huh? Slip things around. What are you drinking? Hennessy, Magnum. <laughs> and what was the other one? My gosh. <laughs> See, Sean, if you switch over to Lady B, <laughs> you'll never run out. There's always options over at Lady B. Mm. Mm -hmm. Especially when you add them grilled fruit, man. No, man, this is good. Ooh. Oh, lordy, lordy. So anyway, mm -hmm. I wanted to talk about something, mm -hmm. right? So you know when like you get, you get pregnant or you're overweight and your skin stretches and then it goes back in, does the skin ever get back tight again? It depends on your genes, you know what I mean? So I think that, so mine went in i mean my stomach was very stretched i believe that my skin did go in but my the skin on my stomach doesn't look as taut as it used to mm -hmm. but i think that spending 18 months or 20 months being is it longer than how, how much is each pregnancy nine ten so yeah 20 months stretched mm -hmm. it's kind of hard for it, the elastic but to i mean go back. like i've been okay 20 months but i mean like I've been 30 years on stretch. Like, I think it's a little bit unfair. And I think, too, that with age, the collagen and the elastin in our skin kind of diminishes. Mm. So that also is a problem. So it can't snap back as easily. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So I guess that's why they say, have your children young. But, you know, whatever. Have your children when you want to have your children. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Oh. So I am... Um, I did my makeup today. Yeah, you're looking good, girl. You're looking good. Are you proud of me? Yeah. Okay. Looks like you have a little mustache, man. Yeah, I went in the sun and it came, my melasma came back, so I had to use my Triluma. But when I use Triluma, I have to use it like for a week and then uh -huh. my mustache will go. But it makes me red. Mm. Yes, most of those cream. Sorry. Kombucha, curry. like <laughs> 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 a whole thing over here. I some espresso beans. So, um, so yeah, I did some espresso beans. I see some mother's belly f um, back flat like pancake. Yes, it's unfair. I hate them. No, but my belly is flat. Like, I look good. Like, my belly is flat. I look good. Okay, it's trap not, yourself. Yeah. But my skin is different. Oh, yeah, like, okay. it's different. Yeah. You know, like, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel the same. Looks wise, if you look at me, you'll be like, hey, yeah. you look great. But, like, it feels different. Different. Yeah, yeah. But that's like, that's like breasts. So after I breastfed, my breasts were less, like, literally, we, we would say deflated. That yeah. was like the perfect <clears throat> word to use to describe what was left behind of my boobs, you know? And it's just no, like... I mean, like, my, my, my boobs are just like... Your boobs are... But you, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, but, the skin, but again, the skin on my boobs is just... It feels different. It feels so different yeah. than before. And this is why I think that certain plastic surgery procedures should be covered by insurance Absolutely. after a woman gives birth. I agree. So I, I think agree. a tummy tuck, I think definitely for sure without question, the diastasis recti repair should be covered yes. by insurance. Yes. Um, also too, I guess depending on how bad your boobs are, that should be covered by insurance as well. I feel yeah. like, you know, women go through so much and it would be so nice if we were put back to the way we were before and one less thing for us to think about. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but these absolutely. damn insurance I mean, companies... I, and insurance companies, <clears throat> I feel that would be a way to get people to actually buy insurance. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have insurance. I would definitely buy insurance. If, if my insurance... insurance? Uh, yes, I yes, don't have yes. insurance. Sean, Sean got me insurance, but it doesn't cover. Like if my insurance said, oh, after you have three children, you are entitled to one Colombian BBL, I'd be like, excuse me, get out of my way, I'm gonna shoot them out. 
I know. You know? Scott and I would have no fights. No, I'd be like, oh, how much How much I need? No, 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 no. That's it. That's it. Watch two, out. The I head is two. The head I think two. Two, 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 two. two. After mm. two, if you got your Colombian BBL on your insurance, yeah. I'd be like, yes, she's. I don't care if it said that nine. No, what are you talking about? Nine right, okay, oh, okay, 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 I know. Um, somebody says, did any of you guys get stretch marks? No, no but I marks. feel like stretch marks are something that is predetermined by your genetics. hereditary and your gen genetics. You know, because I do have a friend where as she reached a certain age in high school, you just started to see the, the, the um, stretch marks just starting to bust up on her chest and her mom has it too. And some people get them by their arms right here. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, have, I have slightly on my bottom. That's because when it started to grow, like high school... You just see the little, what do you call it? What do you call it? The, the zebra the zebra stripes? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See, Britney Lines agrees with me too. One boy, one girl, and then you get your BBL. Yeah, but suppose you get two girls. Then you don't then get no not, BBL? No, it's two children. Two children, okay, okay. But okay. you know, you say two for the possibility, mm -hmm. one boy, one girl. Stretch marks are genetic. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, you can help because I do think, you know, I have a recipe on my YouTube channel where I show you, well, Levi shows you how to make a really moisturizing body butter. And I think that once your skin is moisturized and prepared to stretch, it can kind of help a little bit, you know. Um, Somebody says you guys are dry. so lucky. Stretch marks are so terrible. They, they, <clears throat> I think society has made stretch marks, marks terrible. terrible. Yeah, because, I don't think that they are yeah. terrible, but I do totally understand if you have stretch marks, how you feel about yourself. But, you know, after having a child, my... Appreciation of a woman's yeah, body. body totally changed, like one hundred percent. Like before, kids, I was like, has to be perfect. Oh my god, one little dimple. Ah, oh, look at your breast. And mm. now, after having kids, I'm like, yo, your body is amazing. Yeah. Look at you. Like everybody's body is beautiful. Look what you did. Like, oh yeah. my god. Not even yeah. like sometimes I'm looking at these young girls, and I'm still like, I don't know because my mommy doesn't have, and I got after my two babies. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Is that Jamie? Yeah. Jamie, that's because you're jamming up too much. Yeah, it's, yeah you're jamming up too, too much. much. Well, calm up. down yourself. Calm down, yes. Jamie. You're jumping up and down and jamming like that. Yes, came out with a new song. Did you hear it? No. Ah, oh, it is hot. Mm. I love it. It's something like, and it go like, ting a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling. Yeah. 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 It's, I don't think it's a soca song. So I saw, I see Corvea is here on the live. She's one of the housemates for Road Ready. So Corvea, we need have a song that we need to go and look up by Kes. Mm -hmm. So that when we head on over no, it's not to Orlando song. Carnival. So it's what kind of song? If it's Kes, they're going to play it on the road. It's true. Right, so Corbea, we need to go and check out the song. So in Carnival, we can, you know, do a little one-two step and do know what we're doing. Do you miss dreads? Um, no. What? No. I think it looks great on him while he was young, but no, him head front kind of peeling out a little bit. I think he should keep his hair low for right now. No! Yeah, but if he puts in the dreads, it's going to peel back even more. That's I, why I he don't, cut his hair. I don't I think he's growing his hair back. I don't even think he... I don't want long dreads, but I think if he did like short dreads like to hair and... Like a bob? And did sum up some down, I would like that. What? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> so much of down dreads. No. Yeah. Absolutely not. Why not? Mm -mm. Yeah. I think it's so hard for guys when they start like balding or their hairline starts receding. Because to me, I'm just kind of like, I'll look at guys and I'll be like, ha! That's what you get. We have to go through periods. We have to go through menopause. We have to go through childbirth. Like, shut up and take your damn balding hairline. I feel like mm -hmm. that's like, you know, the... Yeah, like I feel good when I see a guy's hairline receding, especially if it's a hot boy that used to pay me a mind in high school. I'm like, yeah, a... peely, hit a peel back. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure. Have you found any gray hair on your chuchu? I don't have any hair on my chuchu, so there's no colored hair to find. With a red, black, green, gold, gray. Not happening. Mm -mm. No hair on the chuchu? Mm -mm. No hair on the dark cave? No. <laughs> Yo, my son did me so bad the other day. So I guess I'm not like, if I need to use the bathroom in front of my kids, I will like use the bathroom or I'll sit down. So then Levi goes, so I, they're in the bath, so I sit down a couple feet away to use the toilet and I stand up and Levi goes, um, what did he say at first? Mommy, why is right there so dark? So I was like, what do you mean? Like a cave. I'm like, what? Pull up my pants. 
this week's time. I'm like, Sean, Sean, can you please come and look at my pum pum? Is it dark like a cave? So he's like, what are you talking about? What is going on in the bath? And I'm like, I went to go on wee wee and Levi says I have a dark cave pum pum. <laughs> And then because he saw that I got like upset about it, right? So in the mornings now they'll be brushing teeth and everybody brush teeth wee wee before we head out. So I want to wee wee too. And I forgot. So I pulled down and he goes, Mom, and I was like, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> Leave my cave alone. <laughs> Sick of Levi, honestly. Mom, why is your no he says, why is your church so dark? Like, like a cave. cave. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Like I almost want to show everybody that I don't have this big black hair <laughs> chuchu. Shut up, Tracy. You're no better. Guys, on that note, I'm gonna take my cave and head on up. Okay? <laughs> Everybody wants to thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Me, my cape poom poom, and my co-host here, Tricky. We are heading on out. Thank you so much for watching. We'd like to thank our sponsors today. They are I'm going to be tagged below. If you missed any part of the show, you can head on over to our YouTube channel and I may post a picture of the cave. <laughs> We're in the description. We will let you know Your all cave about is gonna go on Broadway. <laughs> Stop, I just peed a little out of the cave. So we want to thank Tower J.A. who brought us some, honestly guys, please try them out. They're going to be tagged below. Um, some amazingly delicious Trini food. The goat was very goaty. It was very, very nice. And we also had doubles. We had curry goat. We had boss up shot. You can check them out. We also had kombucha, which is a fermented, sparkling fermented tea. We had a, some really nice flavors here today. It's very nice, light and refreshing. It's so good. I um, It's a I probiotic, very good for the digestive, digestive, digestive system. And of course, we had Candy Craze who brought us today dark chocolate espresso beans and milk chocolate espresso beans the perfect sophisticated snack um and of course let's not forget my bestie lady bee mixology who grilled her fruits and then put them in tequila gave them to me <laughs> you know because when you got a dark cave you gotta drink it away <laughs> i'm gonna start calling sean daddy bear because he lives in the cave <laughs> <laughs> Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you head on over to YouTube to catch the show in its entirety. And of course, we'll be dropping in pictures along the way. Bye everybody!